Hey everyone, it's Be Divine. Welcome to Divine Miracles. Thank you so much for joining in on your message today. If you would like more in-depth readings or to see all of my services available, please visit divinemiracles.com and all the links are below. Thank you so much for being a part of the Divine Tribe. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Speed Divine and welcome to Divine Miracles. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Even if you don't have a partner, it's still about self-love. You know, just having this love-filled day and just chilling. And I'm going to do a card choice, either pile number one or pile number two. And we also are going to include messages if you are single or if you are in a relationship with my angels of love little deck. Okay, so I've put those cards aside, but these, these piles here are mostly for us, especially, okay? So if you're choosing number one, you have the red jasper energy also, so uh, you are grounded and strong and uh, ready for anything. So I'm going to move this, this pile out of the way. We're going to start with this pile number one, okay? And um, I'm going to use my little easel, so just bear with me while I lift this up okay I'm oh, sorry everyone I hope you can see what's going on here all right so the first uh, little mech <laughs> first little message is going to be um, wor working with the wisdom of the hidden realms deck okay so this is your first card number one oops and of course my little stand is going to fall over so just bear with me you have the phoenix number one resurrection surrender to change let's have a look i'll bring it in a little bit now some people like it close and some people don't really care so it is what it is okay the phoenix resurrection surrendering to change so this is indicating where you are and what you've been through okay and you have a lot an awful lot to be proud of within yourself number one you've come from perhaps a really really bad or uh, disastrous situation perhaps more than one uh, of these disastrous situations in your life and you're now finally beginning to put all of the pieces together so that your life can become more in tune with who you really are so the phoenix here sort of indicates to you that you can do absolutely anything now you've moved into this time of change however you may need to continually surrender to this as well okay um, you know many people they resist change or they become fearful when they've had a healing or something and then they're like now what everything's clear in my life now what you know could possibly happen because they've seen you know the bottom drop out from time time and time again don't focus on everything going wrong just focus on everything from now on beginning to be absolutely perfect for you number one now the message from the angels for you look at this this just reaffirms it all go for it your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered we've been working with you on this situation since its genesis and we continue to watch over you and everybody involved right uh, stay on your present path and as it will take you very far indeed so if you're asking about what's next you know i feel that you already have something um, that you've been wanting to do or you've been thinking about or you already have a talent with it and don't wait any further part of anxiety is procrastinating you know um, you know just delaying things or distracting yourself okay because you you feel anxiety about something on some level or you're afraid that you're going to be anxious on some level but you know you've been working with your guides and your angels you've been doing the work now is the time for you to reap the rewards you know see yourself uh, individually um, you know well as an individual and you don't have to fit in or conform you know to what 
that you feel society wants for you. It's time to just allow yourself to be who you are, maybe accepting yourself. And this is part of your self-love for Valentine's Day. This is something that's lovable about you, is that you can rise up from the ashes and make something out of it and be an inspiration for everybody else. You know, if you, um, if you can't do it, then you can't coach other people to do it. You know what I mean? So it's time, time to go for it. And you have the purple colors with you, um, of protection as well as you, as you go for it. Okay. What else do we have here? An energy card. Seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. So what is amazing right now is that the crown chakra is opening up to receive more advice. You know, Archangel Uriel is one of the counseling or psychologist type of angels that helps you to give your problems over, you know, instead of trying to take things on by yourself. One of the biggest weight that you can, that will lift your shoulders is if you don't have so much responsibility, right? And we all feel like, oh, I've got to do this and I've got to do that. And this, 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 you don't have to do any of it. The only thing you're responsible for is yourself, your energy and your happiness levels. If any of those things are lower, it's time to do a clearing and ask for the assistance of the angels to, to help you and your guides as well. It's like if you are not trusting that the universe will deliver, then you can pretty much guarantee that your connection to your seventh chakra, your crown chakra, may be blocked off for some reason, right? You could also be someone who suffers from headaches or um, tension headaches or you know eye problems where your eyes just go all weird when you go into a shopping center and there's those stupid lights in there and you can't focus okay this can be actually quite corrected um, by working with your by working with the energy of your crown chakra and of course all the other chakras need to go with it as well but you're being blessed and uh, you're on the right path and if there's anything that you need you need to make sure that you're reaching out to your divine team Okay, Conscious Spirit Deck. Wow, the Solar Plexus Chakra. I take actions daily that awaken my personal power. If your personal power has been challenged, you will go through digestive issues. Okay, if you if you feel weak, if you feel um, like your body is always full of um, some kind of aches and pains, or your joints are, are hurting or there's all these flashbacks that you keep on having. Solar plexus chakra and of course the core star chakra can also be very, very damaged from these different energies or someone is still draining your energy. Remember that, you know, you can cut cords all you like, you know, that's fine. But if you're not deactivating those cords, that other side of the cord is still active. Okay, so it's time to cut cords and deactivate, like turning the light off. Okay, um, and you need confidence, it's like you have it here with you now. You know, you have this energy of confidence with you now. So don't, again, don't delay. It's really time for you to move forward with business, with your skills, with your creativity, with your own journey, with love. It's time to move forward, right? And this is a Valentine's Day card. It's all about self-love and yourself, where you're going and what you're doing. We have a little tea leaf card as well. And this one's called the fox. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So that's exactly how you have to be. You know, use your resources. Just move forward. And, uh, you know, even for myself, I'm starting uh, to do webinars where you can join in on the webinar and learn that way. You know, um, and we can do meditation. We can do past life re regressions. We can do... Um, I can teach you different things. You can do courses that way. And uh, I'm about to jump forward with all of that in March, you know. So everybody is, is moving in new directions. And uh, whatever it is that you've been thinking of, now is the time for you. And it's about caring for yourself enough to do that. Okay, now we're coming into just the relationship sort of um, 
side of things. A message for those of you who chose number one and are single. Archangel Adriel, conflict. There will be a time of upset and trial happening. Be careful of what you're saying to yourself. Don't be hard on you. <laughs> right? So this is all about you for this reading. Even if you're single, you know, it's like you can take things on. Um, you can take things on and, you know, blame yourself for everything. And, you know, it's your fault that this is happening and your fault that that's happening. You know what I mean? And it gets to be ridiculous. So in order to draw in the right person for you, if you're single, you have to stop com conflicting with yourself or you will find yourself in a time where, you know, you meet someone and they're the same. You don't want to be that way. Okay, Adriel can also help if there has been a conflict between yourself and someone that you do care about or an ex or whatever to clear that energy for you as well. Okay, and uh, if you are uh, in a relationship already, your message is Archangel Lumiel about influences. So someone is influencing your love situation, a third party perhaps holding influence over your love. Listen to your intuition. So maybe not be not listening to anybody else when it comes to your relationship or feeling the need to tell your friends about what's going on. Um, and sometimes, you know, people just don't want to hear it or they just feel really uncomfortable. Um, they don't want to be, you know, in the middle of something, you know what I mean? But there is some kind of influence, whether it's parents or friends, you know, encouraging you one way or another, or you're feeling blocked by something, um, you know, in regards to communication, you know, with your love. And it's time to really clear this out. Um, if this has been happening, this is also an indication that, okay, um, you're, you're getting through it now and that you need to leave it behind you and just move forward with a fresh start, you know, as Valentine's Day being your fresh start within your relationship. Okay. All right. Awesome. Number one, really, really happy that you came forward and you're here. Hope you enjoyed your messages. And now I'm moving on to number two. Okay, number two. Thanks for being here with me. I hope that you will enjoy your messages. And these are all about you. We also have um, messages for singles and couples as well, which I will do at the end. Okay, number two, starting with the wisdom of the hidden realms. What message do you have? A lady of the gift. It's your first message. Generosity, receiving or withholding. Okay. So it's like you're about to receive uh, this huge big wave of uh, love and caring and abundance in your life because you have made the decision that you're worth it. You've made a decision that the way in which things had been in your past was not serving you at all. So you are being congratulated from the heavens. You are being, uh, you need to open up to receive these gifts and, and start to expect that there's good things happening for you instead of always expecting that there's negative things happening. This usually comes from a lady. It is the lady of the gift. And something around the 20th as well, because it's a number 20, is important for you. Obviously, you guys know by now that's my wedding date. So that's pretty awesome. Um, not that I choose cards, but it's nice to see that there. Um, and if this is like something that is a, a block to you, it may be that there's some information that has been withheld from you and now you know you have this capacity or this opening to receive the information now and it's very very um like it's very very white light it's very very um beautiful energy that's coming forward for you number two it's like you Finally, just relax, you know, and just relax into your situation and who you are. And you're seeing yourself 
in this higher vibration as well which is amazing you know you've come really really far number two and uh, the blessings are just going to keep on coming so i really like to see that okay and your uh, angel message focus on service all this white energy in these cards oops you may not be able to see that card i'll try to lift it up a little bit okay focus on service your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in the constant streams of bliss this stream continuously feeds you everything that you need put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do so sometimes instead of you know thinking about all the details in a situation just say to yourself you know what i'm going to help people or i'm going to give or i'm going to be there or whatever it is i'm going to be in service like it says here so don't worry about all the details just focus on what you're doing and this enables this beautiful energy of the unicorn uh, with the with the angels here to bring miracles into your life you know all this white energy is miracle energy uh, bringing that into your life so um, the the third eye is open when you're working with unicorn energy as well and you're going to start seeing or receiving visions as to the next step like what's the next thing for you um, you really are loving yourself more you're caring for yourself more this is a valentine's day loving yourself kind of energy here focusing on where your happiness is and living for that so many people want things to change in their life but they're still stuck in the same situation of you know being so restricted and so unhappy they just want something to make them happy in a miserable situation if you're not happy within yourself you'll never be happy no matter what situation you find yourself in so it's really something that you've got to declare and if you're in a really bad situation this is your year to get do something about it right and get the help and support that you need and move forward right you can't stay somewhere and make it better um, because then you're influencing other people's energy to do that right you have to focus on yourself always and then you start to you know bring in the energy of the divine uh, that will lead you into those loving situations for yourself right okay what else do we have here the energy card Archangel uh, Ariel the second chakra so your uh, navel or sacral chakra and in here there's a lot of energy related to um, feelings being pushed down okay and also when you feel weak or you feel uh, no energy at all in your body or you feel like you can't sleep or any of those things this could be an imbalance in here and Archangel Ariel is trying to help you be aware of the pockets of energy in your body uh, you know and the, and the things that you are holding on to that no longer need to be there vows or promises or um, past life stuff or um, things that you've done in the past that you feel guilty about or sexual issues or reproductive issues or bladder issues etc so all of these things or anything that's inflammatory uh, with you has to do with held emotion okay and we you know there's things that we don't want to discuss or there's things that we don't always you know bring up or out in the open and you don't have to tell anybody else but talk to the angels about your situation what you're tired of you know what you've been holding on to and ask for them to release this and balance uh, this area for you so that you can feel good again you know and start to move forward this is also a card of validation for you that the work that you have been doing is working the healing that you've been having the work and uh, the positive declarations that you've been making focusing on the positive is working and you're going to see blessings coming through for you number two so i love that okay now the conscious spirit deck what else do you need to know meditation 
Meditation. I meditate daily to allow universal wisdom to flow through me. Now, meditation does not have to be 20 hours of oming, you know, saying om, or any of that. You don't have to listen to anyone guiding you because your mind probably goes, where's the washing and I need a cup of tea and I'm hungry. Um, Your mind goes all over the place. Meditation is about just closing your eyes, maybe putting on some, I don't know, ambient music on YouTube and just focus on your breathing, you know. Focus on nothing but your breathing. That's it. And just your mind will just naturally clear. You can take yourself on journeys. You can take yourself backwards in time. And in fact, I'm going to be holding webinars where we are going to be doing journeys together, right? And we'll all be able to talk and chat and you guys will be able to register and uh, join in on the webinar. Um, Something that's coming up more for me this year there'll still be free live shows here on YouTube um, but there'll be more courses available and webinars of different topics that you will be able to register for and join in on right and live chat and all kinds of stuff in those webinars but it's more for a teaching platform so meditating is something that we can you know develop as we go along or it's something that you can just learn to quiet the mind a little bit, even two minutes a day is better than nothing. And it has a ripple effect that affects the world because your peace goes into the earth and radiates around the earth's auric field. So you're doing something for the planet by meditating. I'm not into binaural beats. I'm not into, you know, listening to Um, guided meditations too often but doing this where I'm focusing only on my breathing and just going within behind my heart man there's a journey that starts happening there and it's fun you feel better after doing it so this is something just a reminder for you to to meditate and if you have been again it's a validation for you all right your little uh, tea leaf card the arrow I like seeing this you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life you know exactly what that is for you you're on the path be like an arrow and fly straight and true okay move forward I remember a teacher wrote that in my year seven sort of graduation thing before you go into high school in Australia and uh he said be like an arrow fly straight and true and this poor guy had he had no fingernails he had this problem with his hands and all the fingernails were just eroded and all his skin on his hands and he was in pain a lot I don't know what it was his name was actually Mr. Pain can you believe it I'm serious and here he was always in pain um, and writing on the blackboard with white gloves on his hands you know it was really amazing anyway so be like the arrow fly straight and true okay now for um singles okay i have my angels of love this is just advice this is not concreted like in stone okay so let's see singles archangel Jophiel, new house time for a complete change of location money is coming unexpectedly Leave it up to the angels to help and just let go. Archangel Jophiel is also an angel that will help to clear your own home. That you open up windows slightly and that you ask the angel Jophiel to put blessings throughout your home, room to room. Clear out all the old. Leave the window open so the spirit's got a place to go. Otherwise it runs around in circles. (laughs) All right. Um, Jophiel can also bring a new house or help you to choose a new home you know or even if this is unexpected you're like what do you mean a new house like I'm not in the market for a new house just be open hey you never know you may go to someone's house and if you're single there may be someone there you know you may meet someone the house has something to do for you singles um, into your destiny and it's coming up unexpectedly so be open to that I love that okay and if you're in a relationship okay this is your message 
I can do ratio expression. The way in which you speak is so important right now and leads you in the right direction. Maybe you guys need to communicate or just don't be af- af- or don't be afraid of expressing your true feelings, your inner feelings with everything. You know, make make a list of things that you feel are you know, holding you back or make a list of things that you're afraid of saying. Um, you know, and maybe even just getting things on paper sometimes the energy or the messages will come to you from the divine in that way. Uh, where you go I'm worried about this and the answer would be well you can worry about it if you want but it's not going to help you <laughs> right so just expressing yourself or you may um, as a couple um, you may be expressing some things to each other um, which are deep and heartfelt okay it's leading you in the right direction so this is a very positive reading for you all so um, I hope you all have a happy Valentine's Day and you enjoy the messages for yourself and uh, for relationships and singles as well. And uh, let me know what type of readings you guys would like and what sort of things you might want to see on a, a webinar. I'm going to be teaching my regression therapy. That will be quite a big uh, <laughs> course, okay? I'm also going to be taking you guys through um you know, fun meditations, past life energies, forward, future energies, and all kinds of stuff we're going to do, okay? So look out for the webinars coming in March. To uh, everybody, sending lots and lots of love and uh, support for you all. And uh, please, if you would like to connect with me for further guidance, just go to my website, divinemiracles.com. Sending lots of love and bye for now. Bye.